what's up youtube it's your boy lunar we in here chilling on this good wednesday when y'all see this i don't know when y'all gonna see this video i should stop saying the date because i don't know what y'all gonna see anyway it's another one from chisa z uh nfl wives are going viral on x like what twitter oh yeah i forgot to change fuck i'm gonna forever call it twitter and how this relates to simone biles all right let's get into it this whole thing just went viral. People on Twitter are posting things like criteria to date a player in the NFL. There's a lot of NFL related conversations happening right now with the draft picks happening. I'm a bit of a contribution to that topic and I'm only speaking from my own perspective, from my experience of the NFL players that I have encountered. <laughs> Joseph, welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. So, guys, am I the only one that's like getting into coffee now? Like, hold on, let me let me bring it back. So, I've been getting into coffee here. Hold on, 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 hold that's just a side note. Y'all let me know if, if I'm the only one. Guys, this Philadelphia Eagles Christmas photo is currently going viral what? on X. They got two mixed girls. That's a mixed girl right there. That's a mixed girl. No, that's a white girl. That's She's definitely black. Yeah, she's a mixed girl. Or Asian. She's, she's something. She's not white. At first, she looked like something, but she's white. She's definitely white. I was going to give her something, but no. She's she's just white with very dark hair. But we got one in there. That's all that matters. We got one in there. Twitter, can you guys guess why this photo is going viral? Well, to understand that, you'd have to see this photo featuring the main players of the Philadelphia Eagles. As you guys can tell, the majority of the main players are African-American, and with topics surrounding draft day, this whole thing just went viral. People on Twitter are posting things like, criteria to date a player in the NFL. And then you have other users who are clapping back at those posts with posts like this. A short comic which starts with the post of a man asking a black woman out. She says no thanks. He goes to another black woman. She says no thanks. The third post shows he goes to another black woman. She says, no thanks and finally he decides to date a white woman and all three of those black women come back and say how come you don't like black women hey man hey real tombs is messy the the dude to be drawing these he messy as hell but i see no lies bro see none <laughs> And then there's other posts like this chick who says some other black girlfriends are not pictured at this party. And she's saying, well, there are men within the Philadelphia Eagles who do date black women. They just didn't go to that party. But there's something else that I find very interesting about this whole discussion. And that's that just about a week ago, we saw Simone Biles get on a podcast and address her thoughts and opinions and feelings towards women who are calling for her to divorce her husband, who is an NFL player, and he's black. But women were calling, specifically black women, were calling for her to divorce her husband, and she wasn't feeling that, right? And the reason why they wanted Simone to divorce her NFL black husband was because they didn't feel... That's wild, the even. How y'all gonna get... How the internet gonna get mad at how y'all relationship is? And y'all going to sit there and tell somebody else to divorce their man. That is insane to me, bro. That is the dumbest thing I can think of, bro. Like, you don't like how they operate. You don't know what go on in their life. You don't know how they are. You get a couple of things. From a clip, you didn't even watch the whole podcast. How do hyped her up and everything. You didn't even watch the podcast. Y'all saw a 30-second to 60-second clip. Cause that's all can fit on TikTok and shit. That's 60 seconds. Like the main stuff. You know what I'm saying? And y'all get upset and tell Simone Biles to divorce him. Simone Biles now. Like, like she ain't got, like Simone Biles 
can't do what the fuck she want to and think she gonna listen to y'all. Bro, the f- people are sheep, bro. Just because some... That's why Simone Biles married and happy because she don't listen to the internet, bro. It's insane, bro. feel like she was on a high enough pedestal. You guys know my opinion about this whole thing when it comes to a lot of these chicks who have a modern outlook on marriage. And in this case, we're talking about black women. If you don't have your woman on a pedestal and you're not bowing down 10 to 20 times a day, especially on camera where everybody can see you, well, then she needs to leave you. She needs to divorce you. You're horrible. Drink the coffee. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. And you might think, ah, oh, there you go again. She should just twist in the words and they weren't calling for her to divorce her husband. Yes, they were. She actually said it. Check it out. Yes. And I love to support him. And by the way, like it was kind of hyped up, you know, yeah. boys, whatever. Like, yes, those conversations are drinking their little tequila, whatever it is. There was nothing foul about and it. They were drinking coffee. I saw him. And that was all going crazy and trending. What are you guys saying to each other? I thought it was hilarious what people were saying. Divorce him, divorce him. And then they hurt my feelings. <laughs> and then like one night I broke down and I'm like, why are you guys talking about my husband like this? Like, you don't know him. You don't know who he is. Exactly. And if anybody's met him, they know he's the sweetest guy and will do anything for anybody. That so there's the proof. Exactly. There's your proof just to refresh Rob your memory. So here's what I find odd. A lot of chicks today. Like, they don't know this nigga, bro. And then when dudes talk, dudes talk in a way. Like, dudes understand dudes. It ain't no fucking foul or nothing. He said nothing wrong about Simone. And if you if you hung out with like especially like football player type niggas and basketball player type niggas, like it's just a level of like just the bro talk that they they just have. Bro, I'm like, that shit's crazy, bro. To tell somebody to divorce their husband is insane. Especially women who are out here dating. And they're viewing this. This is not the type of relationship they want. What Jonathan Owens and Simone Biles actually have together, they don't want that. When they see the black men with the white women in the NFL, they think it should be them. And you might be asking, well, how does this tie in? And this is where I'm trying to get to here. I have a strong feeling that the same women who were trying to pressure Simone into divorcing her husband be the same one in this inbox. her nfl husband black love right are the same women who are angry about black men dating white women and marrying them in the nfl same women same women angry and my question when i started thinking about this was why do you want those men with black women is it because you want black women lifted up because i i'm telling you man it probably just tr if you trace it back like what are your intentions what are you upset about it's so that the black woman can be lifted up because within the black community we don't like to see black men being lifted up aka jonathan owens and his wife they don't like seeing that and on the other hand if they see a black man with the white woman it's like, oh, I should be there, and why aren't I there or another black woman when really I believe when a man has options and he can choose and he has a lot of pressure in his life, he's going to pick a woman who brings him peace, a woman who's not going to um, try to elevate herself higher than him in every possible case and has this like modern feminist way of looking at things and for jonathan owens that was simone biles why do you think people got so upset first of all that interview had nothing to do with me it was all for him so i think they were mad that he didn't include me in the interview but he has to have his moments too and i let him have it whenever i go to football games i'm not like hey look at me simone biles is here i just want to see my man in that uniform give me a little kiss good luck out there do you guys do you guys hear that bro She's okay with her man taking the spotlight. When a lot of these chicks fantasize about marriage, bro, it's, it's worship. It's it's you doing the Russell Wilson thing. He was it's like, that's them. my girl. Yeah. I love her. Great. And she's a black woman, but they don't like it because it does not fit the feminist female. And in this case, black narrative. I just think it's not only ironic, but it's also kind of comical, right? It's comical that the same women who 
can't lock down a husband to save their lives are triggered at both these events. Now, I also heard another perspective from a black woman who dated a couple of NFL players. And here's what she had to say about her experience and what those men usually demand when you date them. This is just, of course, just one woman's opinion, but I think it's worth listening to. Let's check it out. There's a lot of NFL related conversations happening right now with the draft picks happening and a lot of people are discussing a coincidence that they have seen with these black players showing up to their ciphers with non-black women. I have a bit of a contribution to that topic and I'm only speaking from my own perspective, from my experience of the NFL players that I have encountered. Dated one, fake into one, long term. What does it say there? There's some writing. It says they need me. Get a screenshot of that so you guys can possibly read along and correct me because you know some people like to do that it says they need you to be very self-sufficient self -sufficient in every area outside of finances they will cover you financially but you will need to be able to handle all the other needs for the both of you he does not have time to coach you into anything he's busy you must be very agreeable oh. You know they scatter. You know they scatter. This coffee smells like shit. They spit that coffee out so fast. <laughs> Agreeable. <laughs> Pleasant. Submissive. I gotta go. What's the rest of it? Goes on to say, and cooperate. And so I, I have a feeling that she's approaching this. Hold on. And so I, I have a feeling that she's God damn it. <laughs> Pleasant, submissive. I gotta go. Goes on to say, and cooperate. I see, I see. He does not have time to coach you to anything. He is busy. You must be very agreeable and operate from a place of gratitude for being the chosen one. I mean, shit. They are hella busy. Like, shit. All that practice and fucking, what is it called? The cardio and stuff they got to go through with being in the NFL. Like, hell, my uh, my cousin, he trained, you know, football players and stuff out in California. And the shit that, like, they have to do just alone. And then you got to eat right on top of that. You got to make sure your meals are set up, the meal prep shit. It's a lot that they got to go through. And that's just training so picture the people that's you know on teams and all the stuff they got to do man they probably barely home and then they always fly into the games and stuff i can only imagine bro great and so i i have a feeling that she's approaching this like oh a chosen one which the funny thing is that is who they think they think they all deserve nfl players athletes um, um, movie actors, um, entrepreneurs. I mean, they just think they all deserve the best, don't they? Why make fun of it now that you struggled to qualify? Right. Let's keep listening. Um, got to know one, just a talking stage, nothing really happened. Not that they don't like black women. I am unambiguously black. They like agreeableness that's the word they want you to be agreeable they want you to just keep quiet and agree to everything he can come outside today and be like wow look how green the sky is and you gotta agree that the sky is green that's right that's right tell me that <laughs> sky is green that's right if you tell him it's blue there's a problem if you tell him it's blue all of a sudden he's gonna say you're messing up his mental everything is all about them 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 they will get you nice things <laughs> they will get you nice things but it doesn't feel like a relationship if you're his sit in therapist basically so you sit there he'll talk to you when he wants to if he's in a bad mood had a bad game he doesn't want to talk you've got to understand that he doesn't want to talk a lot of black women do not experience the privilege of being able to just be in a position where you can just uh, turn your brains off and trust your man to do everything a lot of black women are in survival mode and oh, 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 yeah, no one. your entire existence is expected to turn into a walking fan page for him he doesn't want to hear about your projects have you packed his what's that kit for practice 
she making it sound super negative. I get what she's saying, but like it's turning into like a really negative thing. Hey, what the hell? Did my computer freeze? No, it's still up. Oh, Lord. God damn it. Let me pause this and get it back working. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, Let's see. Wait. YouTube didn't see it, but uh, Twitch saw it. Anyway. To just be in a position where you can just uh, turn your brains off and trust your man to do everything. A lot of black women. Your entire existence is expected to turn into a walking fan page for him. He doesn't want to hear about your projects. Have you packed his, uh, what is that, kilt for practice? All right. They're not in survival mode. And these guys can't get kit for practice. Deal with somebody that's in survival mode because he is so focused on his game. There's also conversations around the fact that they are being groomed to talk to other races of women yes that too but it's not that they don't find black women physically attractive it's not that they would never ever speak to a black woman but a lot of them they spend time in training from a very young age their lifestyle is not typical so there is a bit of disconnect in their personality type when it comes to connecting with others outside of their niche yeah like if you don't talk football with the motherfuckers they you know but a lot i wouldn't say all of them are like that though that's just i don't know i don't know who she's dated so i can't even go off of that so but they do they are a lot of them are very footballists like even now like my my cousin that trains like he does flag football and stuff and he he all about that shit like you have to tear him away from anything football for him to do something else are wanting somebody to be in a relationship with them to watch them be in a relationship by themselves That's let's talk about a little bit what she said there because the first thing she said is if the sky is blue and he says it's green you better agree just just the way she framed that whole discussion make it seem negative and scenario i can see why she wouldn't do well with someone who needs you to play the helpmate and needs you to play the background within the relationship yeah 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 all those words because of course he wasn't trying to convince her the sun was green that's just crazy right but it was a situation where she thought she knew what she was talking about and he's like no you don't like i'm right and you need to trust me on this and she felt like she didn't have as much of a voice as she wanted to have within the relationship. That's an issue with a lot of women today. We are a hyper-independent generation. Men too, men too. And the more that- Hyper-independent is very like, bro, so internet in itself made everybody think that they're more than what they are. And life isn't supposed to be like this. Like. You're not supposed to have options outside of your city. Like long distance relationships only happen if like you traveled for the work or you went away from like for college and then you met somebody. And then while y'all was on break or something, you called and phoned in. And even still like y'all knew y'all was gonna come back and meet each other in college. And then depending on who wanted to move where or who had a, the, the more family to, help with you know raising a family that's where you move to like internet made it to where now it's just like you instantly have a reaction to like oh they're not doing what i want they're not doing this that, and a third let me just get on online and find somebody else it's insane how people operate now and it was never supposed to be like this like you're supposed to grow up in your city and who was in your city that's who you you got with and 
you grew up with everybody around you and you know who you had a crush on that you know what i'm saying like your community is what you had very rare people will like you know date with somebody in the next city if they just you know ran into them and and then on top of that men could go talk to women just approach them you know wherever like in walmart or the mall or such and such but even still like the internet has made it to where like men can't even approach you no more you have to look you have to look like a lick for them to fucking even look your way and even still if you not man it's it's insane what the internet has made people in their mind think the man needs you to submit and let him lead because you're coming into his plan his vision right you're riding along you are a feature right you're not the 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 the, the, the writer of the song you're featuring and a, a part of that i know it hurts it hurts independent strong women to hear that but that's what you are in that situation and the way she framed that she didn't like that the second thing the second thing is she talked about how you have to be that man's therapist and she said it in sort of this condescending way i just see that as he, he just wants you to listen and talk to him he, he wants somebody there to talk to when he's had a tough day the problem is she probably just wanted to get a little bit too involved, right? Let's keep listening. Another observation I made is the fact that a lot of these guys do oh, not... Oh, we got here. They... what? They... I don't understand. I don't see what it is. Time and training from a very young... Oh, they spin. Oh, I already read this one. I saw that niche. ...have the social skills that it takes to be around a typical black person. Obviously there's not that many black British women women around the streets of America. So a lot of my friends in America are black American women. I used to date these guys and I brought them around my friends. They didn't have much to say they, when I brought them around my Caucasian friends. Athlete's girlfriend's wife, they are women who you can tell are very gentle and agreeable they were more open just i never thought about that until now it's not really a topic that sits in my head they were a certain type of men and they need a certain type of woman and that woman can be black she could be anything they tend to find it in non-black women just my opinion based on the three that i've met if you're wondering where i met them they're not that hard to find in florida if anybody's looking for them but yeah that's what i've got to say about that um not that hard to find to get your cheeks clapped that is probably a fact probably a fact yes 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 fast not so, hey listen guys i appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of the coffee pod uh if you like the video like comment subscribe hit the notification bell i appreciate y'all watching this with me and i'm out